I, I think the uh, farmers in developing countries are, uh, are uh, embracing uh, the, the, the new technology in a much faster way because they can clearly see the benefits. They know that many of the uh, farmers are pretty smart. They don't want to be spending too much of their resources, which are very scarce uh, in, in, to today. And they want to get the best out of the land uh, using minimal resources. And if they have heard of such technologies being used elsewhere in other countries, they want to embrace those technologies. And these are the smart farmers who spend time in knowing a little bit more about the technology and start using the technology. So which is why we have a lot more farmers working uh, in developing nations uh, embracing the, such technologies. As we are uh, going down in resources, uh, whether it is the cultivable area, whether it is land or, or uh, clean, clean, clean soil, agricultural biotechnology has come up with several uh, concepts and several proven technologies that can help uh, save water, that can help save soil erosion, that can help uh, you know, uh, plants to tolerate many stress conditions, whether it's abiotic stress conditions or biotic stress conditions. So these are the technologies, unfortunately, will not necessarily come through some of the traditional technologies that we've been using. So, so new technologies such as ag biotechnology will be able to help uh, in such uh, uh, conditions.